Hello, everybody. This is Edgar Rodriguez. I am the VP of Sales and Marketing for Distribuon. I want to thank everybody for taking their time uh, today to, to, to be with us. Today we're going to talk about uh, microsites and the, uh, the ability to socialize your microsites. So real, real quick, the agenda looks like, looks like this. Basically, we're going to talk a little bit about um, Distribuon, some of the news, uh, talk a little bit about, um, you know, as far as a brief overview, we, only, we have a, uh, only 30 minutes. And then I'm going to go into high level um, the, the platform and uh, at least leave enough time for question and answers, uh, hopefully maybe 10, 15 minutes, and then uh, summary, and um, then we'll all go back to work. So let's go ahead and start with uh, some Distribuon news. Um, first off, first and foremost, one of the things that, that, that we're excited about is our, is our relationship with Forrester. And, at, and Forrester basically describes distributed marketing as a platform um, uh, which technology infrastructure that allows corporate marketing to support field sales, marketing, and partners to create, store, localize, manage, and measure marketing communications. One of the things that's going to be happening here shortly, I would say probably in the next month or so, is, is, is Forrester is going to be announcing um, um, uh, their, their white paper um, entitled, How Technology Supports Distributed Marketing Organizations, um, spearheaded by Suresh Vital. And we are going to be mentioned in that. So we're very, very excited about that. So stay tuned to more news there. So let's go ahead and, and, and jump into the actual uh, platform. And one of the reasons why I want to talk to you about this is, is as we go and, and, and we talk a little bit about the overall marketing life cycle, you'll start to understand you know, the power of, of, of our solution. And what I want to do is talk about the capability side, access management, the ability basically to... The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Basically, the... the, the, um, the but from an access standpoint, where how you know uh, you can control the people that that uh, the users that are signing in at, at from an administrative level to a user level, power, super user, so forth. Asset management. At the end of the day, you want to be able to control all of your all of the content and collateral uh, from a corporate level all the way down to uh, the local level. Dynamic content assembly, the ability to to leverage um, um, all the different types of 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 collateral that you have, you know, from a template standpoint, um, uh, being able to tag all that information and dynamically bring all that information together um, in, in, in one you know, overall campaign. And we're going to talk about sort of the subsets of, 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 of that. And then, of course, campaign management, uh, the ability to be able to track and uh, report um, uh, all the way from the beginning to the end of a campaign. And, of course, close loop reporting and measurement. Well, uh, the next next layer that we have is the output management layer, where layer rather, where we're you know uh, the platform provides the capability to manage and optimize and execute across multiple channels. So uh, one core offering is online marketing, uh, our online marketing studio, where you're going to have you have the ability to to um, uh, develop and and and, and uh, submit email uh, marketing campaigns. You have the ability to develop uh, microsites or landing pages and also forms and surveys. On-demand print studio is a, is a, a fully function um, a commerce storefront inventory management uh, solution and also a multi-vendor management solution where you can have multiple vendors and being able to get your, your, your uh, uh, print fulfillment needs uh, taken care of throughout um, a, a, a regional, uh, uh, domestic, and also international uh, standpoint. And then we have a third and last, our sales enablement tools, where you're able to build uh, brochures, sales kits, and so forth, and also our uh, uh, presentation generator, where you're able to put together uh, flash presentations and so forth to be able to submit down to the local uh, level from, from central marketing. Uh, again, being able to combine all that information and, and supporting the, the overall corporate brand and, and message. And then last but not least, we have the education center, which at the end of the day, from an internal and external standpoint, internal um, uh, resources uh, from corporate can be trained also uh, uh, internal, or rather uh, uh, in, uh, external, let's say your, your, your um, uh, captive uh, representatives or independent representatives can also be trained as well. So let's go ahead and move on to the actual, uh, what we call the distributed marketing life cycle. And what you'll see is at the very top, you'll see the different silo segments where you have a campaign brief, segmentation, execution, 
and analytics. And we basically run on, 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 on two different uh, uh, levels. One is if you've got your central marketing where you're, you're working with creative agencies, um, working with uh, marketing consultants, you have the ability to, to, to develop this information as far as marketing collateral templates and, and, and content. Then you move on to the next uh, um, uh, section, which is segmentation, is being able to manage uh, that central marketing uh, database. And again, that can be integrated into a, um, uh, a DB marketing consulting firm, very similar to, uh, for example, Merkle, uh, 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 Hart Hanks, uh, Epsilon. Uh, or it could just be your, your database or your content management system or CRM system or let's say a, an SFA system like Salesforce.com. Uh, the other piece is, uh, is the execution, so the campaign automation and the rules and definitions. This is where the permissioning and the overall workflow uh, comes into play as far as the, you know, coming from the corporate level and then uh, you know, transcending down to the, the, uh, the local level. And then of course then we have an analytics. Without that, you don't, you're, you're not going to be able to adjust and, and regroup and, and, and um, relaunch um, a campaign. So from a centralized reporting standpoint, that information uh, uh, is closed loop all the way uh, to central marketing and, and, and uh, again, of course, corporate. Then the next layer we have is uh, local marketing and field sales, uh, or let's say agents, from the agent's perspective, where an agent could come in and whether it is a, a, a corporate push uh, where an agent or, uh, can opt in or opt out in, into the program, or whether it's basically from a home office standpoint where the agent is, is given the permissioning and so forth to, to develop and leverage the different types of, of, of assets from, from the, uh, corporate that um, can, they can go ahead and send that information out, whether it's email, microsite, direct mail, print, uh, and presentation. And again, there's, there's uh, some other layers as far as surveys and so forth that we can talk about. So uh, again, from a campaign brief, now we go into the segmentation part of it where you're, they're actually taking the, the target uh, or the customer list that is either given to them uh, by corporate or that they're combining with their list and corporate or basically they're developing on their own and they're, again, they're giving the, the, uh, uh, the permission uh, to do so. The next uh, piece is the execution where they're executing, uh, uh, and they're assembling and executing the actual um, campaign. And again, that can be from an email uh, a full-blown microsite, direct mail, and then from print. And then, of course, a closed-loop uh, reporting where both the, the local and also the central marketing uh, teams are able to come back and, and reevaluate and adjust and, and, and re-execute a campaign. What's important to know is, is, is how all this is structured from a profile information standpoint, a content information standpoint, selection, and automation. And what you're going to see is we have three areas uh, um, where this information can be actually uh, uh, produced. Um, so from, from an HTML standpoint, we can create customizable HTML templates for email, microsites, landing pages, survey forms, and more. Um, from a print standpoint, you incorporate all your print assets uh, and easily transfer them into customizable templates uh, for print, uh, download, or, or uh, yeah, email PDF. And then of course, rich media. This is something that's, that 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 from we from from uh, based on the analyst and, and the overall uh, marketing organizations uh, that we talk to. Rich media is, is really the big thing for 2010, where you can create customizable rich media, uh, uh, flash based presentations, uh, and also leverage templates and video and animation for email and also uh, download. And not only just for email, but but where you can put this in, in email newsletters, in flashcards. Uh, and microsites, websites, everything that's going to support your overall campaign. So let's talk a little bit about, about uh, uh, the local marketing and, 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 and agent scenarios. What, we're, what I'm going to talk to you about today is, is specifically microsites, show you a real quick example, but most importantly, how, you know, what's happening with, you know, uh, uh, give you a high level of the socialization. So we're going to focus more on that today. Uh, but just, again, I want to give you a high level of what we do and what we're capable of as far as this overall uh, uh, distributed marketing platform and what it's made of. So we can provide uh, email campaign at, at, at the simplest level. Uh, again, e-newsletters, e uh, video flashcards, a simple print collateral, direct mail campaign, uh, brochure building and, and sales kit generators, uh, interactive presentations and, and wizards um, that are wizard based, um, simple presentations, uh, microsites, and then of course forms and surveys. And what everybody has to understand is all this is based in one consolidated